Hi everyone, Rory Neary from Data Spinners and TGG. I've got a really, really cool demo to show you today. It's, it is a tutorial um, and it uh, is geared around creating a gradient header, which wouldn't normally be that straightforward in uh, in in Power Apps and certainly wouldn't be straightforward in components. So that's objective. We just want to do a gradient header bar, and so this is how we're going to do it. I'm just going to jump on to Power Apps before we go too much further. So here we are on Power Apps, and I'm just going to move up to Components. If you want to know how to get there, you'll need to look at the previous video and so on. So go on to Components. We're going to create a new component, and we are going to call this. Uh, we're going to actually. I'm not going to new component, oh there it is, sorry I've just done a couple there um, and I'm going to rename it and I'm going to call it CMP um, header gradient in fact what I might do is I may just, I'm just going to take the one from the previous time uh, and I think I may just soup this one up rather than going the whole hog and um, starting from scratch so I've got my header bar here already I've done all the bits and pieces in the previous video so all I'm going to do this time is I'm going to insert an image now um, insert an image well we'll see, we'll see how it goes anyway so you can see that I've inserted an image and I'm just going to put this image all the way to the back so let's go back 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 so go to home uh, reorder and then send to the back now this is not a very interesting image in fact the label is just and what I'm going to do is this label is uh, I'm going to put the um, color of the label to the fill of the label is going to be RGBA 0 0 and 0 so essentially it's clear uh, and I put the text to black to, uh, so I put the color of the label to black um, and on we go that looks fine uh, and so we've got an image and it's doing absolutely nothing at the moment so the idea is we will insert an image into here that is useful to us but the way in which we're going to do it is going to be really really neat so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go on to um, on to PowerPoint now one of the things that you can do on PowerPoint is you can create a gradient fill on your on your slides and so here's one I prepared earlier now what I will do is just an example of what I've done uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a new slide and then just go a blank slide like this so nothing uh, special going on there I'm going to gradient fill uh, well it's done it already and I didn't wa I wanted to actually demonstrate this normally when it comes in as a gradient you'll see on the right hand side that it's 90 degrees um, that it's 90 degrees so essentially the gradient goes from top to bottom basically but what we want to do on this occasion we make sure it's zero degrees uh, and that means that the gradient will go left to right <clears throat> uh, and then we can do something like we can change the color of the different stops so let's make this one go from a kind of uh, I'm gonna get really fussy here let's go from well oh, that's just <laughs> that's crazy that color um, let's just make it go from uh, we can go to the uh, different colors and so on I don't know. let's try this this kind of purple color here we'll go from this color purple which is not that far off where we were before and um, you can see you can sort of change it around you can you can move you know the degree of the gradients and so on as you go on not quite sure why there's two I'm, I can delete that one can't I yeah good so it goes it goes from one color to another to another and in fact that one there well why not whilst I'm here I can just change that to a yellow color which is just truly weird um, so I'm just gonna keep to a to a fairly simple color which is um, not an not an awful lot going on there so yeah it's a slightly different color and I what I'll do is I change this one here to a quite a dark color so let's make that go black yeah well there we are so the next part of the process is we are gonna go to the snipping tool and um, so basically the aim of the process is that um, so I'm gonna put this onto screen hello oh and it might go a bit strange at this point but we'll see um, so if I go new on this then I, what I'll do is I will um, create a snip of this area here and it'll turn it into a JPEG and then and then we'll see what to do with it so it may go strange on my screen at this point that's uh, not too bad I got away with that so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create the tiniest sliver here because I don't need a big image so there we are and I'll do file save as uh, and I'm gonna call it my 
my gradient uh, and whereas that's in a gallery somewhere I'll call it I'll do save on that and then I'm going to come off it and now what I'm going to do is I am going to convert this into a base 64 file so that's essentially um, a way of looking at uh, it's basically an image but written as text so we'll see in a minute what it what it actually looks like so we need to go across to the right website in order to do that so here is the website it's https colon forward slash forward slash www.base64-image.de and all we need to do is we need to drag and drop the images in so I'll just go click here and then I think I called it my gradient and there it is and so it's a tiny little file um, and it should just work there it is my gradient there so this is 10.79k so what I'm going to do is I will um, I should yeah copy image that should do the trick and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go onto notepad to show you what we've actually copied so here we are on notepad what I do is go on there and then I'll just sort of paste that in that is what we've actually copied inspiring isn't it um, but what you can see is actually says data image blah 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 base 64 now all we need to do with that I'm going to do control A on that copy uh, and then we're going to move back to Power Apps so here we are on Power Apps and now what we're going to do is we're going to go onto that image control that we created earlier on and in there we are just going to put you have to put a quote mark here control V for pasting it in and then do another quote mark now and then you need to do one more thing and that is at the moment the the way in which the image is done is it's doing this fit thing what we want to do is we want to stretch it and once you've done that I'm actually really impressed with that that is so so good and so what we can do is that will actually render for all the ones that um, were done in the previous session so uh, if I go onto the screens what I should find is that those um, it was the top one here I was just playing around with that bottom that how cool is that that is amazing just remember that with your images you can reorientate them so if we just go on to the components it probably won't be a great demo but um, the point is that you have got an image rotation on this image rotation and then you can do image rotation dot um, rotate well if I do 180 and then it would actually swap it round that's quite clever and you can do rotate 90 which would obviously make it uh, go one way obviously not great but um, but it just proves a point that you can actually just, you know, by the because we've actually stretched it and so on. I like this 180 one actually. Um, that means that you can flip the colours around and so on. Um, and if we go on back onto the screens, then you'll be able to see that all that's worked already. I mean, doesn't that just show you how powerful these components are? And not only that, is that I can actually then go onto my components, and if I wanted to, I could then. Oops. Uh, how do you actually? Uh, I could go on to it and you can actually export it and so on that's quite a powerful so I thought I'd have a little experiment with exporting them in actual fact when you try to export a component you actually export all of the components so no doubt the engineering team will be working on that so that we can just export them as single components rather than all of them because you actually, if you actually go to the dots and go to export components it does all of them you actually just see it you know jump down there so Anyway, hopefully that's been interesting and in later uh, editions of this uh, walkthrough components we'll see more interesting things. Um, please like it, nice to get likes, um, please um, subscribe to it and please also make sure you take a wander over to the TGG site and on the site at the URL above https forward slash forward slash dynamics 365 society dot uk you'll be able to see that there is a power platform bank where you can download various creations that people have made which I think is quite neat you know you could just go and um, get yourself all sorts of things I've put games on there because it's the only thing I'm any good at um, but you know no doubt you can find other things that are of relevance to you Super, well, I'll see you again soon.